guys and welcome back to my channel so this is my entryway and I showed you last week how I did this ottoman and reupholstered it but just above it I told you that um, there I just wanted to put something up here so let me show you what I've been working on so I purchased some panels from Michaels they were just some plain canvas uh, panels and I was using some paint that I already had around the house, some bronze and some gold and blue paint. And I was trying to make kind of an abstract painting, I guess. And um, so yeah, just doing like a few swirls and just a few kind of abstract designs, just trying to figure out exactly what I wanted it to look like. Um, just kind of freehanding everything. But I wasn't too crazy about how it ultimately turned out. Um, I, I thought it was okay but I wasn't in love with it and the colors it ended up being a brighter shade of blue than what I initially wanted I wanted something uh, I wanted more of a darker blue to kind of go with the ottoman that's in there and have more of the neutral colors like the beige and um, something to go with the the brown wood floors as well and I felt like this was more of a it was way too light and kind of a beachy look. So I ended up going to Michael's and getting some more paint. So I got a cocoa brown, a dark red, uh, another metallic, a darker metallic. And uh, this one I believe is called corn silk, which is like a really pale yellow. And then I got like a midnight blue kind of indigo color. I also have some Martha Stewart, um, uh, stencil letters that I used and I decided to do like kind of a message and they have all these all the different um, alphabets and have some decorative ones as well but I just used the letters and um, also uh, I picked up a stencil this is a Hallmark stencil um, I picked that up from Michaels as well and it's got floral design it's got the friends forever it's a three pack um, but yeah, it's got butterflies and different ones. So when you open it up, you can see the different ones that, um, that they have. I really like this floral pattern. So I decided to use that and I'm going to keep the canvas. Um, and just, I'm just going to use one because the letters themselves are smaller than what I expected. And I felt like the message would get lost if I used, um, all three panels. So you can see the assorted floral designs um, on all the stencils and one side is adhesive so you can stick it uh, to whatever it is you're working on. And um, so this is the third panel, the Friends Forever. So I ended up using a few of these. So what I did was um, instead of painting using the um, like rolling over it or anything like that, I was afraid of um, you know it bleeding underneath so I went ahead and just um, you wrote it out with a pen outlined um, the stencil itself uh, and so I was using um, I was using uh, the floral first and then the floral pattern and then the letters so um, that's what I'm doing there and then once I have the pattern written out I just I'm using the paint to fill in the spaces so that's just kind of what I'm doing there using the red and that way I had the colors that are that are in the room and the colors that I wanted kind of represented um, with like the dark red and also um, I used some uh, dark blue as well and you'll kind of see that as I go on Now that I have the stencil down, I'm just adding some lighter colors and some metallics using the metallic um, kind of, it's more like a, I guess it's kind of like a bronze paint. And I'm just adding that just to add a little bit of dimension and um, so it doesn't look quite so flat. And just adding, you know, colors here and there where I think uh, would kind of 
uh, outline and really highlight the stencil itself. I like that you can add your own colors and kind of put your own spin on it. The more I started to add the colors, the more I started to like it. So um, yeah, but I really think that using one panel was definitely uh, more than enough. And it was a small, it was a really quick message. Um, it's kind of a short message and you'll see it at the end and you'll see why um, I did ultimately decide to only use one panel. But yeah, here I'm adding some metallic to the, uh, the brown stem here on the flower. And like I said, just a way to add some, some interest and just keep your eye kind of moving all across the, the panel itself. So I'm just repeating the same thing here where I'm putting the stencil down. Once it's down, then I go ahead and go over it with my color of choice. In this case, I'm using the, um, the bronze because I wanted to kind of highlight the word family. Um, even though there is a lot of like gold and bronze already on here, it's actually, you can see it in real life, you can see it very well. So yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and do that, um, kind of highlight it. The rest of the words I was doing in the dark red. So I wanted family to kind of be highlighted um, differently than the others. So here you see I have, um, so here's the whole sign together. Um, so it says together, we make a family. And um, I just thought it was a really cool message. It was something kind of sweet and short to the point. And um, I'll probably end up using the other two panels, um, get some other quotes and go ahead and use the other panels because there's um, quite a few of the stencils that I haven't quite used yet. There are some other florals on there that I thought were really, really cute and um, I feel like I could put my own spin on them. So yeah, I um, that was actually, this is also my first time using the, um, the stencils as well, the letters, I'm sorry the uh the stenciled letters so it's my first time using those as well and i like the um the pattern to them it has a really nice um the letters are really really nice so i like those and um i like but yeah as you can see you see how large the panel is compared to the letters so if i had just done um i was going to do this panel and just do the word together but when i actually did it it it's so small um, and you'll see the whole panel in, at the end of the video, but yeah, it's kind of small. So it would have just gotten lost with the design and the stencil and everything. I feel like the message would have gotten lost. So I decided to just go ahead and do it all one, um, just do it all together. And I think it came out pretty well. So yeah, I'm just filling in the letters here for um, the rest of the letters and then I added on uh, some more florals as well and you'll you'll see that um, as it's kind of coming together I'm really liking like all the colors and everything uh, and I, I turned you know ended up liking the the abstract underneath it kind of does somewhat of a layered effect with the um, the stencil and the the um, the metallic and the flat colors and, and everything together just really I thought added some real dimension to it so this is the last section here so I'm just adding uh, the rest of the flowers and doing um, I wasn't gonna do anything over here but I was like kind of needs a little bit of something over there so I'm just using the rest of the colors and uh, just kind of blending um, blending the pattern together but I think in the end, it all came out really, really well. So here is the big reveal. So this is it. This is the final look. Um, I love it. I think it came out great. I can't wait to hang it up. Check out my Instagram and I'll show you a picture of how it looks. But in the meantime, thanks guys so much for checking out my video. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next week. Subscribe if you have not subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.